Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by this blooming update for the month of April. And yes, it's already May. I know I'm filming this in May as well. Uh, so while we are uh, watching my uh, uh, wall of fails, just let me quickly explain why I'm so late with this video. So this uh, new camera works with uh, a, a SD card, but it has the, the micro SD version. So it's even smaller than a thumbnail. And it's a little bit of a pain to work with, if you ask me, but I need to get it out of the camera and put it in my PC. And I have a um, card reader built in. My computer came with, a, with that, so that's very, uh, very, very convenient. So I need to uh, put that uh, micro SD card in, this, in the sleeve. And at the end of the sleeve is a connection point. So when it connects, my computer can find it, obviously, and I can take the files off and put it on my uh, computer, etc. So what happened the other day, I wasn't paying enough attention. I was busy and I already had filmed this blooming update and I put my micro SD card inside with a sleeve. And apparently underneath that connection point is a little bit of room. So that micro uh, uh, SD card, did, uh, I did manage to get it underneath the connection point, put it in it, it went very smoothly. And, but before I noticed, I completely put in the micro uh, SD card in that card reader. And for the life of me, I tried with knives, etc., to get it out again. It doesn't work. And just, uh, I thought before I do any damage, I uh, just buy a new one. And normally it's just the day after when you receive it by the post. It's not, uh, doesn't take long to, uh, to get it uh, at your home normally. But of course, in this case, it took longer. So all in all, I'm a little bit late. I apologize, but I still, uh, yeah, I, I, this title, uh, I'm going to still name it the uh, April update because I was trying this year to get for every month an update. So we have at the end of the year, a 12 month, uh, update uh, a complete year. So uh, yeah, it's still uh, going to be April posted in May. Okay, so let's start this uh, video, probably this time. <laughs> and we're starting with a, uh, this is the second time that this one blooms for me. And it has beautiful blooms, at least I think. And it's the body swatch white. So into, if you uh, Watch this video. I know you. I, I posted on your uh, one of your videos that I think you have one as well. Not sure. Like you mentioned, there are a little of uh, quite a bit of uh, varieties there, but uh, this is at least my body swatch white, and it can normally make way more uh, uh, bigger spikes, way longer. But I uh, it didn't do so well in the previous spot. But it's coming back to life and it's working on another spike as well there. So. But yeah, these are the first blooms for this uh, video. And then we go to the left. Uh, I had this one in bloom the last time, but this is the new spike. It's my uh, sunset. And this is for me how a sunset should, should look like. Very beautiful, bright colors, bright yellow with a hint of pink, purple in there and very rich, deep colors. So that's a beautiful uh, bloom as well. Underneath it is still in bloom with four spikes. There is the other one. And here is one. And I have it still listed as Brushia Orange Delight. Probably uh, have, have a different name by now, but I have this one for quite some years. And it's really beautiful, beautiful spikes. But they seem to go over now the blooms, but um, but yeah, I think they were still nice enough to show. Then we have these, uh, this terrestrial orchid with another spike here. Let's zoom in, beautiful. Also pink and yellow. And this is, let me grab the tag. This is the tag. Bel Beltilia Penway Dragon. And it looks like it's uh, growing fairly well. Let's have a look over here. We do not have much blooms here. Some uh, dendromium fells are working on blooms. Sherry babies, even more here. Uh, I still have a bloom on my uh, Avianum 
beautiful hairy blooms and it is decided to make another spike over there so this year it give me i think about six or seven spikes so the plant is not looking very beautiful but maybe uh oh i see another spike that's number eight i think so quite some spikes this year sadly my lindley eye my previous attempt to make this video, it still was nicely in bloom, but as you can see, it's going over now. So I apologize, I missed that one. But uh, I luckily have this one still in bloom. This is the Dendrobium Beresii. And it's a fairly young plant. I did get, get this as a freebie from one of the nurseries, but it's beautiful. And we have quite a few spots but you can see it's also working on a new growth there then next to it over here we have still the nobles in bloom well, at least a few of them and this one this the rainbow dance is now mostly going over but it had a heck of a lot of blooms prima donna is next to it and those blooms are about to go as well but look, we do get new ones. Beautiful. Very happy with that. I really enjoy those blooms. And then underneath in this uh, part of the greenhouse, I have some blooms. These are from newer orchids, just purchased it from my Landsbergen Hall, but they just opened up. This is the Soriana Suturiana, if I pronounce it correctly. A regular white fell over here. So go, so go relax. And this one has beautiful dark red blooms. But it's over here because it just repotted it. Then this beauty is still in bloom. A probably cross some, some, something with sunset. We're just not sure which one it is. But beautiful. And then we have this. Epidendrum, still in bloom. These are not my blooms, obviously, but I just wanted to show them because these are so beautiful. And I have this beautiful Cattleya. Uh, oops, the sun is a little bit strong. Beautiful. The blooms aren't as big yet because it really needed to adjust it to my system. This is from my previous, my first uh, visit to Landsbergen. So I did repot it in fall. That's not the best time to uh, do repots on uh, on Cattleyas, at least in my uh, setup. But still, it uh, did manage to. Where's the other bloom? Oops, there in the back. You can see. It managed to uh, get two beautiful uh, blooms. Down here, my. Where are we? I'm sorry. It's a little bit dark because of the strong light outside. The spring eclipse. It's now also getting over. And this is the very huge dendrobium fell that I have. And it's starting a new growth. So soon I'm going to repot this and uh, stake it somehow because it's top heavy. And Cyclia is working on blooms. So that will be soon. And then you guys, look at this beautiful Vanda. It's almost opening up. So yeah, it's basically not an update for this video. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to show you quickly and look at this. I found this so beautiful. These uh, epidemics so close to one another. Beautiful. Uh, all those very vibrant colors. Let me go in a little bit closer. Beautiful. And then we have that beautiful red one. Red one. Not sure what my camera will do with that. What I see now, it's not even, not even close, but maybe it will be better once I edit this video. Psychopsis, you probably guessed it already. Because these, yeah, this one is, I think, going over. Beautiful. And just fresh, fairly fresh opened is the yellow one. And you see in the back, that one is opening up, yes. I thought for a second, is it going over? Now it's opening up. And then, just in time, <laughs> this Tolumnia. You can see two older blooms, but 
quite some uh, buds still to come. So we have some fresh blooms. This seems very familiar, but I cannot find uh, the actual one. So I don't have, a, I still have it as a Tolumnia hybrid, as you can see in the back, name tag there. But uh, yeah, maybe you know the name. I, I, I should find it. I know I saw it somewhere. Marquise, Rene Marquise, a flamethrower. And it just, just have an, one, one more look. You can see it's a bit fading, fading already. It's not as strong, but it just opened a bloom. So you can see the difference, I think. Look at that. That's how they uh, freshly open. Beautiful, vibrant colors. Beautiful. And that's the roof. I don't know if you hear that, but that's <laughs> that cracking sounds in the back. That's the roof because the sun is coming and then it's, it's getting warmer in here. And then, uh, yeah, the polycarbonate is uh, making those noises. It's normal. It's nothing to be worried about, but it may sound a little bit strange. Whoops. Don't let it fall. There we go. I just wanted to show this one. It's such a beautiful. It's such a beautiful. <laughs> it's such a beauty. There we go. <laughs> That's orange. And this is what is on the tag. If you are interested. Let me put it back. So yeah, I need to do it with one hand. But we did manage. And the bloom is facing the other way. I don't know why. <laughs> oh yeah, oops, almost forget. These dendrobiums up here from my Akarna purchase, my Akarna haul. And you see there in the back, that's the... Uh, Oh, come on, Brian. You probably already know which one it is. Let me try to zoom in. Oops, my camera disagrees. Yes, there we go. Look at that. I will put his name in. I just, can I, no, I cannot reach the tag. I just, it's completely gone at the moment. Both of them. Yeah, and these, you can see, I, I cannot see the tags. <laughs> so yeah. I will put the names in, and this one is, I think this is the announcement. Oh, the Logesia, yeah, I keep uh, mixing those two up. They just do not look nothing like one another. As you can see, these blooms are way smaller as well. I think these can get a bit bigger when a plants are older, but anyhow, I managed to get those uh, names tangled up. <laughs> yeah, I need to... Uh, Practice on the names. So we now in the orchid room. I quickly uh, put the fans on uh, outside here in the greenhouse because it's starting to warm up quite uh, quite uh, quickly. But uh, yeah, we start with this uh, Miltonian section and the fragrance, you guys, these days over here is fantastic, beautiful, right? And this keeps having the, those spots on the, on the blooms. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't look very pretty, I must admit, but still I, I like it, but I'm not sure what it is. And then we have this uh, Princess Diana, Red Baron, I think it is, in, uh, in bloom. The first one, the white one, was obviously the Her Alexander. I'm sorry, I apologize. I didn't uh, mention the name. The second one is No Idea. The one with the, with the spots. So, uh, this is the Red Baron. And then we have this beauty. It's absolutely stunning. And I have somewhere a tag for this one. With a name. Miltoniopsis Hyam uh, Ono Black Falls. So yeah. That's a suitable name, I think. <laughs> beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And then down here, more Miltoniopsis. This is a white angel. Let me check it quickly. Miltoniopsis white summer angel heart. That's, that's the proper name for this one. This is the Newton Falls. Beautiful, beautiful. And next to it, we have one with a fairly long spike and even a, a sort of branch here. 
with one bloom. I didn't know that even Miltoniopsis could do that. But this is Miltoniopsis prolapsarian. Pre 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Stephanie, that's a bit easier, the last part. And yes, if you look it up, the blooms do have a more lila lilac color. This one had that as well, but now it's way deeper color wise. So I think that's a good sign. I see that happen with more of my orchids. This is also a Princess Diana. Well, actually, this one is also a way richer colored, deeper colored. I'm not sure how to pronounce it properly, but yeah, rich and deep those colors, I can say. And this is Maui Pride. So it's Princess Diana Maui Pride. The tag is in a bag, so I don't get it out, but if you can, you can look it up and you will probably see blooms that are a little bit lighter color. But I think if these are getting happy and eating your fertilizer, they will uh, darken up and be more happier. So we have quite some spikes here for um, yeah, maybe the next update. This one I just recently did a uh, uh, repotting on. And also on this one, and this one, I think it's called, it's also a Hayim Ono, but then Maui Falls. And maybe you think, well, what about the names if you're not sure? <laughs> I apologize. Try to be pretty sure and you can look it up so you have an, a regular idea. And I give them names because it's easier for my notes. I keep all notes of all my orchids and I... Yeah, I don't like to work with numbers. It feels so, yeah, like I'm not attached to them. And I am, I love them. So they deserve a name. <laughs> and who doesn't like it? I'm sorry. I just give them names. But I, uh, suggestions are always welcome, as you uh, probably know. <laughs> Anyhow, this is a uh, Mes de Velia, obviously. And this is from my first trip to uh, Landsbergen. And it said orange hybrid, so I'm not, not sure. But it has darker red stripes in there, and it looks a little bit purple. But those are the hairs. Oh, I'm not sure if I can, can manage to film this properly. I'm so sorry. That purple glow in there. Whoops, no. No, it's very hard to film, but it's so beautiful. Yeah, maybe you see it on and on. What I see on the screen, yeah, you can see a little bit of darker color red, but it's actually more purple in real life. And come to think of it, I think Roger just recently recently showed a uh, Master Valley as well with that purple hairs in there. But yeah, I don't have a proper name for this one, sadly, but it's beautiful. So this is the first rebloom on that one. So that's good, that's good. And then, you guys, this is so beautiful. Look at that. Most of you probably recognize it straight, straight, straight away. <laughs> it's the, uh, I have it uh, listed as Odontoglossum naevium, naevium. So I kept that name. There it is in the back. But yeah, it's so beautiful. This is the best blooming. So far I have, this is my second year that I gr grow it. So yeah, it's more established obviously here. And in the back that growth is making two spikes as you can see. But this is the biggest spike so far. It's absolutely beautiful. I really uh, like the colors. Once again, wet, yeah, uh, wet, <laughs> white. The dark red and yellow are my favorite colors in blooms, but uh, sometimes combined, like this one is uh, beautiful. Normally I do like uh, uh, yellow and white combined a bit more, but in this uh, case it works as well. Then we have this beauty and Michael McCarthy helped me with this name for this beauty. And it should be this one. Oncostaliopsis sunkissed buttercup. I had the sunkissed butter, sun buttercup part, but it is Oncostaliopsis. I apologize if, for the pronunciation. <laughs> I try my best. 
Luckily, there are a lot of growers that uh, struggle with the names. This one is the one that uh, I keep uh, mentioning it on and uh, on and off, often, sometimes. <clears throat> uh, it's uh, fairly uh, often mistaken with the Bartle Schwartz. But as you can see on the end of the sepals and petals, it's, it hasn't that dark color. And a uh, Bartle Schwartz should have that. So, and this is uh, the uh, Bialara Renaissance. Renaissance. And not to mistake with the other Renaissances, I know, but it's the Bellara Renaissance, and the Incas do sell this one, for example. Uh, no blooms over here yet. So let's look over here, because we have something in bloom again. And it has this spike that needs to be opened, so therefore I leave it like this, but as soon as it starts to open, I will... Uh, turned it and have it bended like this because these blooms you guys are stunning absolutely stunning look at that and i try to get my hand next to it because look it's it's i think it never had so big blooms and once again the color is so richer than before i had this like i said for uh, i bought it in bloom bloomed it last year also with two spikes and now this year but i it, it didn't have this beautiful rich colors like my Miltoniopsis I really see some differences here so yeah I think that means that they are happy getting a, enough light and fairly balanced um, yeah they fertilize in the light and you can see I even give this one whoops here is the bulb let me check a bit of purple it did get even a little bit more light than last year as you can see so it's not that it's too dark because sometimes that can happen uh, when your blooms get a little bit too dark as well so for people may think that's the case no it isn't it even did get more light sometimes that helps but this is a more of an odontoglossum type i don't believe that extra light does them uh, that much good but i'm i'm not uh, no, i'm just um from experience, my own experience. Why don't you, yes, there it is. This is the Odontoglossum Altmar. Beautiful, this one likes to bloom. If you like this one and you want an easy bloomer, you definitely should get it. So this is a, I'm sorry, Colmenara Altmar. I just saw the tag. Whoops, Colmenara Altmar. Giving wrong information, that's not what we want to do. <laughs> Apologize. These are from my haul from Landsbergen. Just quickly update. And so far, do we have something new here in bloom? No, we have still the uh, paths. This one was also in the haul. Whoops. And my American hybrid over here is having a bloom as well. Yeah, I didn't move them. Normally they were over here, but I now have my Oncidiums there to see if they will do a bit better. But that's for another uh, video. Just, oh, I'm checking again. I always, you guys, always forget something. There are quite some plants, of course, but so far I think I did cover them all. Yeah, I think we did. No, not. So you see, this was already in a previous but still it's in bloom still like nicely it's now getting over but this is my uh, Manelli Eiler you see I almost forgot it and that's something uh, that I'm proud of as well because these are not that easy to grow I uh, found the Miltoniopsis to be a bit easier but anyhow um, finally this was uh, this was the uh, April update blooming wise I apologize for being so late, but now you know why. It's kind of funny now after all. So I have a new micro SD card. Everything should go well now. You guys, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, I hope to see you at one of my next videos. That will be on these guys, Miltoniopsis Repots. So if you are interested in that, later this week I will post this video. I will talk about that one, this one, and we will follow that one completely from start to finish. So if you are interested in uh, that video, um, check my channel 
and uh, you will find it soon enough. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up this video if you like it. And uh, what, uh, like I said, I hope to see you at one of my next ones. Bye bye.